Dear students, now we are going to discuss maximum power transfer theorem with its proof in detail. In any electric circuit, the output can be taken from the load resistor. When the maximum power will be delivered from a source to the load. So here it can be done only when the circuit is perfectly matched. So when the load resistor is equal to the internal resistance of the circuit, we can say the circuit is perfectly matched. So here the statement is, in an active network, the maximum power will be delivered from a source to a load only when the load resistance is equal to the internal resistance of the source. So here, the internal resistance can be obtained by using Thevenin circuit. So any electric circuit can be simplified using this Thevenin's equivalent circuit and then make it equal this RL to this Thevenin's resistance. Do you all understand this one? So here we can use Thevenin's equivalent circuit and then get this VTH and RTH value. So VTH is also a constant. RTH is also a constant. So the power depends only on the load resistance value. So it is a variable one. We have to ensure that for maximum power transfer, this load resistor is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistor. Okay. At the time, maximum power is delivered to the load. So this concept is widely used in PA system. PA means public address system. So that is speaker concept. Okay. So here we are talking about the real part that is resistance alone. But in terms of impedance. So whenever we are talking about the transmission line. Okay. There we can consider the equivalent impedance value which is having the real part and imaginary one. So real is nothing but the resistance value. Imaginary is the reactance value. Okay. So in terms of impedance for this maximum power transfer, we can say the condition is the load impedance should be the complex conjugate of this equivalent impedance. That means R minus Jx. Okay. So next we are going to prove this concept RL is equal to RTH for maximum power transfer. So this is very important one. So here we can consider the Thevenin's equivalent circuit VTH in series with RTH and then the load resistor. So the current flowing through this load resistor is IL that is load current. Okay. So as I told you this VTH is a constant. RTH is also a constant one. Then the power delivered to this load is depending on this variable load resistor. Okay. So here we can take the power delivered to the load formula is P is equal to what? V into I. So here we can take this V is nothing but I into R. Okay. So here we can take this power is equal to I squared into R. Okay. Since we are talking about the load we can use the term PL is equal to IL squared into RL. So here this IL is nothing but the load current through this load resistor. So here we can find out this load current from the circuit. So here IL is equal to the total voltage VTH divided by the total resistance. IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So next we are going to substitute this value in this formula. Then we can get PL is equal to IL is replaced with the value VTH by RTH plus RL the whole squared RL. Consider this as the first equation. So next we are going to consider the mathematical calculation for getting the maximum output power. So here we are going to differentiate this first equation with respect to RL and then equal this value to 0 to get the maximum output power. Okay. So here we are going to differentiate this first equation with respect to RL because the output power depends only on the low resistance value. 
and then equal that value to 0 to get the maximum power. L. You will understand this concept. So here we are having this RL in these two places. So differentiation is little bit complicated. For that we can use this formula U by V. That is differentiation of this U by V is equal to V du minus U dV by V squared. Do you all understand this one? So here we can take this U is nothing but the numerator value V T H squared R L. V as the denominator value R T H plus R L the whole squared. Then we can find out du from this one. So here if you are going to differentiate with respect to R L we can get this value V T H squared into 1. So du is equal to V T H squared. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to RL. Correct? So dv is equal to 2 into RTH plus RL. Okay? So if you are going to differentiate this RL again means it is nothing but multiplied with 1. So we can keep this value as such. Okay? So here u is the numerator, v is the denominator. We can substitute these values in this formula to get the differentiation. Okay? So here v du. Okay, v du means v is rth plus rl the whole square. du is vth square minus u. u is vth square rl multiplied with dv value that is 2 into rth plus rl divided by v square. So v is rth plus rl the whole square then the whole square that is equal to 0. Okay, so next for further simplification, what we are going to do? We are going to move this value to this right hand side. So here it becomes 0. Okay. So in the next step, we are going to simplify this further. So here RTH plus RL the whole square VTH square minus 2 RL RTH plus RL VTH square is equal to 0. So in the next step, we can take this VTH square as a common one. And then move that value to this side. So again it becomes 0. So next we are going to multiply all the terms inside this bracket. And we can use this a plus b the whole square formula. We can get rth square plus rl square plus 2 into rth rl. So here we can multiply this inside this bracket. We can get minus 2 rl rth minus 2 rl square. Do you all understand this one? So in the next step we can get RTH square plus RL square. Here we can have minus 2 RL. So plus RL square minus 2 RL square means we can get minus RL square. So these two values are cancelled each other. Okay. So next we can get this value as RTH square is equal to RL square. So then we can take the square root, we can get the answer RTH is equal to RL. So hence the maximum power transfer theorem is true. So with this condition we can transfer the maximum power from the source to the load. Okay, next we are going to discuss the steps used in this maximum power transfer theorem. So if any electric circuit is given and we are asked to find out that load resistor, then we can follow the steps. So the first step is to remove the load resistor in the given circuit. Then we are going to find out the Thevenin's resistance. So for that we need to follow certain condition. If the voltage source is present in the given circuit, we have to short circuit that. Current source is open circuited and then calculate the equivalent resistance of the given circuit. Okay. So the next step to find out the Thevenin's voltage. For that, we can simply remove the load resistor in the given circuit. Then we can calculate the Thevenin's voltage across the load terminal. Okay, that is very important point here. So after getting this VTH and RTH values, we have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit with this load resistor. And for getting the maximum power transfer, we can make this RL is equal to RTH. So that is the condition for maximum power transfer. Okay. So next we are going to find out the maximum power delivered to the load. 
for that we can use this formula maximum output power or the load power is equal to vth squared by 4 into rth okay so that is what the maximum power delivered to the load in terms of impedance we can say the zl is nothing but the complex conjugate of the equivalent impedance okay so let's solve one simple problem over here find the value of zl in the given circuit for maximum power transfer so here they have given us that impedance value so here equivalent impedance means 5 ohm and inductive reactance is j10 ohm both are connected in series in series we can simply add these two values so equivalent impedance is equal to 5 plus j10 for maximum power transfer what is the condition the load impedance should be the complex conjugate of that equivalent impedance of the circuit so here the load impedance is equal to 5 minus j10 oh do you all understand this one so this is a kind of important to mark